Hello future exchange students, we are Tristan and Mitch from the Chongang University in Seoul. In this video you will see how our minor experience is like in the corona era. But first we will introduce ourselves. I'm Tristan Sonke, I'm 21 years old and I'm studying building engineering at the HZ. Uh, I chose to do my minor abroad because I saw this as an excellent opportunity to develop myself on my personal level and in the work field. And next to that I wanted to see more of the world. And my name is Mitch Lopez I'm 19 years old and like Tristan Sonk, I'm also studying building engineering at the HZ. I chose to do my study abroad because I thought it would be a marvelous experience to expand my knowledge. We started our minor adventure with a lot of uncertainty whether it will go ahead or not. For a while it even looked like it was not going to happen at all. When we finally got the green light, we immediately left for Korea. We had to quarantine the first two weeks of our stay in Korea. We did this in an Airbnb. These two weeks went pretty quickly as our lessons already started in the second week. After these two weeks, our adventure in Korea could finally begin. We live in a dormitory of Chongang University. Normally, such a room is shared with two people, but thanks to Corona, you now have an entire room for yourself. When we were still in the Netherlands, we were told that there was still a possibility that we would be having offline lessons this semester. But once we arrived in Korea, it was quickly made clear to us that unfortunately, this is no longer possible. In this semester, we only had some offline lessons from one professor. She occasionally schedules appointments to give some explanation or give some feedback in a small group. This is very nice. Although there are only a few corona cases compared to Europe, they are still very careful here in Korea. But still, a lot is possible in Korea. For example, we can go to a restaurant every day to have lunch and have dinner there. In addition, we can go anywhere and do as many activities as we want. We often do this with a group of foreign students. At the beginning of the semester, a large group chat has been created for all foreign students. This way we could easily meet up. We also have regular contact with the Korean students. They immediately made us feel at ease and gave us a warm welcome to Korea. We also want to do something with the Korean students, such as having dinner or visiting a beautiful place. We also have the option to travel in this country. For example, we boarded the plane with a group of friends and flew to Busan. This is a city in the south of Korea. The rest of our adventure you can watch in the video.
As you can see, we learned a lot of activities and made a lot of new friends in Korea. Of course, the virus has limited us in some ways, and we didn't get to experience offline lessons. But we absolutely don't regret going to Korea. To close this video, we would like to make one thing clear to you. Don't be afraid to take a step and don't let the virus stop you. Because probably this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, uh, and our advice is to just take it. Good luck.